music beep good morning so today uh we just got access to the next set of planets the the frozen stars um so i think we're positioned above one right now because i think i did that before whatever so i'll uh we'll just start exploring and i know that i decided to start with the lower level frozen star planet but one of the things i do want to do is take the spare saplings i have here and the ones that are already waiting for me back at the settlement and go plant a new crop of trees um because well duh um because i haven't been able to collect trees for a fair bit because of that but hey it'll be fine all right okay but other than that, I don't really have that much in the way of plans. Um, yeah. And I do need to figure out when we're going to do the art request stream. All I know is it's not going to be on a Monday because art request streams tend to take a little longer than normal. Uh, so I don't want it to be on a day where, you know. Because the reason streams are so... Oh, sorry. Stringent on Mondays is because that's when the spouse is home. And I don't want her to, you know, have to, uh, be, like, stuck outside at all. Not outside of the house, outside of the room. Uh, because, uh, I know they're self-conscious about, you know, because most people who aren't streamers are self-conscious when they know, you know, that any little thing can be heard like i and i totally get that that's not something that's bad i'm just you know that's why on mondays i always am very strict about stream times ending when they do but hey it's fine all righty getting ready to switch here in a little bit bit which is fine but yeah i don't know we'll see what we do today i'm not sure hmm because I have also been considering overhauling the crafting area in the settlement. Um, just since we've already overhauled the other one. Uh, but we'll see. And I'll probably do that out of stone. And then one of these days I'll go redo the, uh, the fossil zone. But hey. It's fine. Okay. Blah, blah. One, two. Yes. Yes. That's fine. Yes. Yeah, this is probably going to be our outfit for the rest of the game, if I had to guess. Alright, down we go. Hopefully, uh, hopefully. Ah, sit down. I really should go to a planet before I get... Oh, right, the fucking guy gave me the blessing. But, ooh, glow biome right away, nice. Uh... But I should really go to a planet on a star that I'm technically not able to deal with yet, so I can show you guys what happens. Okay. Don't know why. Okay, whatever, it doesn't matter. But yeah, the next thing I'm gonna do is, uh, good morning, Avery. I'm definitely gonna... Well, I also need to upgrade a bunch of my stuff, I just remembered. Okay, it's gonna be the same. I think I might see a glitch village starting. Unfortunately, that is not what I'm after. Maybe? Maybe not. I don't know. Uh, apparently not. Okay, I really hate the fucking jump boost upgrade. There's a reason that I took... Uh, ooh, glow, 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 glow chest. Uh, I mean, I'll show you what they look like. They're cool, but I won't be able to, like, use them. Thankfully, I have uh, a secondary cloth chest that's pretty... Did I scan that? I don't think I did. Uh, but that's pretty empty right now. So, should be fine. But yeah, after this we'll go to the settlement and start planting trees so that we can get them out of our inventory. Where the fuck are all the enemies? Now saying that, they're probably gonna whoop my ass, but you know. Sp Hello, are you nice? Apparently so. Well, that's never nice. Are you nice? Okay, cool. This is weird. Hey now. Ow. Owie. 
My bad, my bad. Oh, hey, little dude. Goodbye, little dude. Hey, buddy. Thank you. Oh. Oh, this is Apex. Good, good, good. I'm not gonna go down into the whole thing, because I really don't want to, honestly. Uh, nothing in there. Uh, of course it's all... Okay, there we go. We got three in a row. Okay, that's just one of her standard sayings. I'll grab this. Okay, once again, one of her standard sayings. Already know that codex. That's fine. Uh, and just one of her standard sayings. That kind of sucks, honestly. Uh, well, let me still scan it, just because I want to make sure I scan everything. Okay, that's fine, that's fine. Yeah, this is a hostile facility, and I really don't feel like dealing with it. We're just getting a fair chunk of them right out of the way, that's good. Ow, sorry, got something in my eye. Ah, shit! Technically, I keep my windows slightly smaller, so that's why sometimes they can see me before I see them, if you're wondering. Not technically, I literally do, but you know what I mean. Alright. Oh, hello. Bandits. Thank you. Goodbye. Uh, is the music gonna restart? That should be something under there. Oh, shit. Hey, buddy. Yeah, a lot of those particular kinds of flying enemy- Ooh. Eh, no, but I'll take it. Definitely don't want those. Because they're just... Whatever. Okay, I definitely should have taken damage there, but I'm not questioning it. Can the jump boost please go away? All it's gonna do is get me into trouble. Hey, little dude. Good night. Hi, hi, bye. I don't remember if these ever have anything under them. I don't think so. Hi, hello. Goodbye. Looks like a lush biome, maybe? Potentially. Oh, hello, sir. Not lush. Lush biomes only have one type of tree, if you're wondering how I know. Hey, I don't remember what's that. Oh, we found the other bead. Why, creature? Because the other thing is not a bird. Um, in the traditional sense, it's just a mean fly green. Hello, I need things from you. I need these. Uh, hang on, let me, let me check how much it takes to do the final ship upgrade before I go crazy and buy a bunch. Okay, I need to know how many I need. I forgot how weird the fully upgraded Apex ship is. It's basically like a diamond shape, but it's like very tall, so it looks really weird. Okay, I need 10 upgrade modules. That's what I thought I remembered, so let me see how much I have on me. I only need to get two from him. Hey, boss, I just need two. Okay, anything else I want? I could technically buy some stuff, but, but at the same time, eh. It's not really that big a deal. Alright, lovely. Oh, I should sell him some stuff, too. Take that, because, again, I'm pretty sure that, like they said, that's fuel. Alright, hey, bud. Oh, wait, I can't sell things to you. Never mind. Might as well heal. And don't ask me why it always spawns that weird space behind the structure. But it always does. And I wish it did it, but... Womp womp. It's not about what I want. I think that was the mean bird, and somehow it did not see me. That's strange. Well, there we go. And that jump boost is definitely helping me there, but I really still hate it. It's because it makes it really hard to navigate sometimes, and it causes me to get into problems a lot. 
Also, yes, they make florid sounds. Uh, I don't think they're considered a subspecies of the florid. Uh, but they do make florid sounds. Okay, well, I would have taken damage no matter what, even if I did it, because I definitely missed my exit, but such is life. All right, lovely. Oh, Jesus. That poor little owl did nothing wrong. All right, lovely. Now, in fairness, I probably would have still hit it anyway, because I definitely did not think that was alive. I thought that was one of the things I get stuff from. The, the little, like... What do you call them? I'll point one out when we go past it. Alright. Eh. Ah. Hey, buddy. Alright, what do you got in here? I shall definitely take that. Because I need 24 for my final upgrade. I don't care. Oh, yes, please. Thank you. Alright, Lily. Hi, buddy. How did you miss... What the fuck? He, like, had a perfect shot on me. Okay, whatever. We found a Plagaki. Uh, no. No, thank you. Okay, anyway. It's fine. We're fine. Yeah, you'll tend to find Plagaki more up front. See, that's what should have happened. They both had the exact same, like... Like, maybe I just happened to just get just lucky enough. I don't know. Okay, that thing that I just hit, that's what I thought that thing was. Oh, the fire variant. Owie. That sucks. A one of these. I forget what they're called. Oh, hello. I guess I'll take that. Huh. Interesting. I'm not going to take the Stargazer Hood because I don't like them. <laughs> and there's no chance of me ever using it, so I'd rather just use them for future potential endeavors. You, I was going to say, usually there's stuff below these. Hey, buddy. Including the most adorable little critter I ever did see. Alright, lovely. Eh. Ah. Yeah, because we have that jump boost, we need to be careful about breaking those. I should have gotten hit there, no questions asked. But hey, the longer we spend on this planet, the closer we are to having that go away and not have to deal with it. Ow. Oh, good God. Get out of here. Horrid creatures. Oh, Kali Dokali. I don't think there's things under these, or at least not intentionally. I think they're just there to add visual interest to the world. Uh, was that me? Well, I want to wait. Oh, dear God. Hang on. I definitely want to wait until I get, um... That jump boost gone because I don't want it to renew once I go back on the ship. But clearly that was me. Because I don't know if you can dismiss things. I've never tried. Uh, but hey, it is what it is. Come on, dismiss the jump boost, please. Come on, come on. I guess this is just how this is built. I didn't recognize it earlier. Hey, buddy, I was looking for you. Owie, owie, owie. I was gonna say, that'll hurt really bad if I don't stop him from messing with me right now. Uh, might as well dig down and see what we can find. Uh, ba -ba -ba -ba. Okay, the jump boost is gone, which is good. Uh, did I see a chest? Yes, I did. Alright, well, we got the cranium part of that. That's fine. Hat. The word I was looking for was hat and or helmet. Alright, let's see. I'm just peeking around, seeing if I can find anything else. Well, that's an underground desert biome, actually. 
or something akin to that. Hello, little dude. I was hoping to potentially find another glow chest, but I don't think I'm gonna... Oh well, such is life. Hey, little guy. It's actually an arid bio, because those only really spawn in arid biomes. Okay, well, we're gonna go back up. That's fine, that's fine. Oh, gosh. Very, very cool. Uh, I'll go ahead and toss some stuff in here. Where's my precious things? There they are. Alright, lovely. Okay, I don't think I picked up any codexes. No, I did not. That's fine. That's not relevant. Uh, I'll need to get those eventually, but not yet. Uh, did I pick up any weapons? I don't think I did. No. Okay, beautiful. Blocks, however. Alright, lovely. And then that'll need to go in the other blocks chest. Food. Sure, 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 not the seeds. Sure, 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 sure. Lovely, beautiful. Okay, deco. Did I get any deco that I need to put away? Not really. I just have a bunch of SCPs that need to go back to the colony at some point, or the site. Okay, that's fine. Those two don't need to go for the collection of the, like, serene slash geometric slash whatever. Also, we're going to be going there next because... Well, I want to, you know, get everything all settled. Okay, so we did pick up the shirt for that, good. So if I wanted to, I could wear that, not that I do. Alright, blocks, you go in here, good lad. Uh, da -da. But yeah, I'm trying to decide what I'm going to do for the crafting zone. Hmm. Uh, where's... Oh, well, I guess I don't have anything else to put away, technically. Okay, anyway, let's go over to Lamplight. Okay, alright. So then, what I need to do here... Is I have a bunch... Not in there, apparently. I put these here for this exact purpose, by the way. So, these should be sorted into groups of no more than five. Okay, so let's grab those trunks. Then... The mushrooms. Okay. I do usually have an order I like putting them in. Not necessarily a specific order, but... I'm going to go ahead and put some of the one-off slash stranger trees next. Uh, that's slide. Let's go with these guys. These are rainbow trees, by the way. Alright, very good. Go with the flower trees. Oops, hang on. Switch that around. Switch that around, thank you. These are also a type of flower tree, just not one that I've shown you before. Uh, go with these guys. Because, yeah, the game will organize them however it sees fit, but that's not how I want them usually. Alrighty. But, yeah, I only ever plant in groups of five or less. Um, I do have a reason for doing it. I'm just like... Oh, because it looks better, duh, Logan. God damn it. <laughs> I'm losing my mind. No, 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 no. You go here. And then I'll put you there. Then you. Then you. Okay, let's go get these planted. Alright, lovely. Very, very good. And yes, eventually I will, like, replant my entire thing. But, that is, like, an entire stream's task. So, like, that will have to wait for at least a little bit. 
All right, lovely. But you can see basically what I do, and I'll show you, is as I plant them, I place my body between them so I can at least get some level of separation. Not because you need it, because clearly you don't, but because I think it looks nice. All right, lovely. But you see how I plant them in groupings based on their trunks? Um, I will always prioritize the trunk above any of the rest of it. Uh, but it should be fine. Okay, we should be getting close to, relatively speaking, to where we left off last time. Alright, let's see. Okay, good, good. Also, don't ask me where I got that coral tree from. I literally don't know. Alright. Cool. Should be getting close. You can see they're starting to get a little, uh... I don't want to say screwy, but that's the only word I can think of right now. We also try to plant some torches down here. Okay, lovely. Nice and lit up. They don't have to be perfect, they just have to be there. Okay, should be getting close. There we are. Alrighty. One, two... One, two, and ideally I like to get a full five whenever I can, however, uh, some things like these mushrooms, if I didn't collect five already, I'm kind of screwed, because they just, that's how they are. Let's also scan that. Alrighty, because they, some of them only ever drop one sapling. Also, you can pick up a sapling once you place it down before it grows. Um, and it'll be fine. Alright, lovely. Like, these rainbow trees, they will only ever grow one sapling, or give you one sapling. Same thing with the, uh, mushrooms. Uh, I believe cactus also only ever give you one. Uh, but I'm not entirely certain about that, so don't quote me. Right, lovely. One, two... And this is just the ones that I had collected before I started this particular file. Come on, you. Come here. Alright, lovely. I, I don't even have the others sorted yet. And I don't know if they actually need you there, slash within a certain radius to grow. I just am superstitious about it. So, you'll see, I'll probably go back and hang out until they all grow. Potentially. Because I do have, and it doesn't take terribly long, uh, but I do have, uh, um, more on the ships, so, like, I could just go grab those, but, I don't know. I also don't remember how far we are until our next grow point. Or until, uh, how do I phrase it? The, the next point where we need to start tearing down stuff. Because I think we did have a spot where we had to go over a small canyon. And I haven't seen that yet, so I don't know. Alrighty. It's likely that the next trees will need to go into storage temporarily until I fix that. Okay. Well, let me actually go up and grab those other trees while I'm thinking of them. I did start to see where the gap was because I could see the thing. Okay. Let me see. Okay. So then. We can start with the eyeball trees. Uh... One, two, three, four, five. Trash the rest. That one only has two. That one has five, thankfully. Okay, then we can go with some of the others that are only one. So let's go with the mushrooms. Well, not only one, but like I seem to have only grabbed one. 
All right. Lovely. That's fine. Then we could go with the rainbow trees, because unless I specifically remember to grab them, I only have one of them. All right. Lovely. Any more? Not that I can see. Let's go with this. For now, because I actually think those only ever grow in spouts of, like, one. So, or, I, I think that's the same no matter what world you're on, where you find the alien trees like that. See how these are all technically different, you know? Um, anyway. Okay, one, two, three, four, five. Trash the rest. One, two, three, four, five. By the way, I'm right-clicking to get that, if you're wondering. Okay. That's fine. That's fine. Well, actually, hang on. That's a slightly different trunk structure. Okay, let me see. ba da ba ba da Bow. ba da ba ba da If you're wondering how I can tell, I, I, just look at the side of it. That's how you can tell what the trunk structure is supposed to be. Okay, that's fine. Now I can put these back in order. I hope I have enough space. I should, but you never know with shit like this. Set that here. Might as well just get it out of the way. These are uh, lush trees. I can't always tell what all of them are just based on the trunk, especially if they're slightly unique. But, yeah, we're gonna have to... Uh, I don't know if pit stop is the word I want, but it's the only word coming to mind. Okay, yeah, we're gonna have to go take these down and plant them before we, you know, do whatever. Okay. So some of them should have started growing by now. But we'll see. Okay. Very good. But you see, the, these one-off ones, there's a reason that... Sorry, I just think it's funny when it does the silly sound. Uh, I'll tend to plant them at a similar time to each other, or in a similar area, so that's why... You tend to see me grouping those ones together. Because they're the ones that only really ever have one singular whatever. Also, if you're wondering why I talk about that I stopped collecting lush trees, that's why. Because, matter of fact, I may even pare down some of them. Because they get really... Overrepresented very, very, very quickly. Alright, lovely. And plus, like, some of them are kind of neat, but, like, generally speaking, lush trees are not very interested. Alright, lovely. Should be getting close to the zone. Because this is where I stop to go plant torches. Okay. I can't tell if this is where we were before. It is. Okay, time to start planting before they decide to start growing. Ah, shit. Two, four, five. One, two. So yeah, hang on. And no, damn it. Well, now I can show you that you can pick them up. So just pick them up like you would any other thing in your inventory. Okay, what? Well, and it shouldn't be that big of a deal that they've started growing like that. Usually it's not. Uh, it's just whatever. Alright, lovely. 
And will I one day decide probably to stop putting the gaps in between everything? Almost certainly, but for right now it's fine. Alright, lovely. Okay, I think this is where we were putting the... Yeah, one day, but yeah, not today. Because that's a whole task in and of itself. I do need to group these together, or at least temporarily, because even if they are the same ones as earlier, because they very well might be, I don't remember how these work in the coding. Uh, God damn it. Uh, I at least want their trunks to be grouped together because they look nice next to each other. Alright, lovely. These... This is why I wanted to get this out of the way, because I want to collect more trees. <laughs> I really like... So it's kind of the same as how I'm obsessive with collecting books and everything. Uh, I'm obsessive with collecting trees in Starbound. Don't ask me why. I don't know. But I am. Alright. Loverly. Very good. Very good. Beep, bop, beep, bop, beep. Also, the other reason that I only do groups of five is definitely also because uh, it can be a little annoying to reach out with the matter manipulator further than that. Alrighty, lovely. Oop, it looks like we might be getting towards the end of our little cleared out zone. Uh, yep. Damn it. Okay, so I'm going to beam up, grab the other saplings, bring them with me and do what I did last time where you saw I had those stashed. I'm going to do that. Okay. So then, you... I don't think there's any other with that particular trunk. Oh, I missed a couple of lush saplings. Interested. Unless... Oh my god. No, I just missed them. That's weird. I'm not usually... Like that. Okay, whatever, it doesn't matter. Okay, you and you... You look identical, but you're clearly not, but... You very much look the same, which is very interesting. Alright, these trunks... Which it looks like they have fluffy trees in that particular variant... So let's also grab these. One, two, three, four, five. Trash that. Uh, buh, 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 buh. And actually, let's set this like that because those are the same trunk. And again, I'm never going to be perfect with it, but I do like to try at least. Okay, you could go here, then I'll put the birch trunks next to you or Quakey Aspen but it's up to you to decide what you think that is alright lovely fun fact about Quakey Aspen the largest uh, singular organism on earth is a Quaking Aspen because the way Quaking Aspens work they're really cool um, is I forget the term but Essentially, they will put up shoots off of the same root structure. So, like, say, you know, this is all one big root. Each one of these may look like an individual item. But if it were a quaking aspen, they would all be from the same plant because it would just put up a shoot that looks like a separate individual above ground, but they're all connected underground. Uh, I forget if it's Pando or Pango, I forget how it's said, but it's here in Utah, uh, and it is a massive singular quaking aspen. Um, like, this thing is as big as National Forests, big. Uh, that's not where I put them. I put them in here. Alright, lovely. No, no. You need to go first. There we go. 
Okay, very... Well, I guess I'm putting these here because I didn't sort them properly, but... It's fine. Okay, cool, cool. Now we have that stashed. I may go over there. I'm not going to start fully excavating the next part, but I may go dig out the uh, pathway through so that I can have my next, you know, whatever. Alright, it's fine, though. We're all fine and dandy. We are fine. Let me hydrate. Much better. Much, much better. But, something interesting that... Again, I forget if it's... Uh, hang on, let me actually... Okay. Pando. It's Pando. Uh, actually, so, so, just so you know how wide and how many acres Pando is, Pando spans 5.5 kilometers across at its widest point, covering 2,384 acres, and it is estimated to be over 2,000 years old. But yeah, it is a massive quaking aspen. All right, lovely. But yeah, Pando is actually really interesting. And hang on, I I want to remind myself of what it means. The word. Uh, let me remind myself. It means I spread. All right, because I do I knew the name had to specifically do with how Pando moves. Or not moves, but uh, well, for lack of better term, spreads. <laughs> also, yes, I believe it was what inspired the name of the organism in Strange World. I think that was what it was called. That one Pixar movie. Um, because I believe that is also named Pando. Or something very similar. But yeah. And you can visit Pando. It's a it, it's open for visitors. Uh, I mean, it's kind of impossible to prevent you from visiting it. Because obviously it's gigantic. Alright. Lovely. But yeah, so a lot of times if you look at a quaking aspen, what you think is an... Uh, bunch of separate organisms in a forest. You're probably just looking at a singular plant. Alright, plus this will give these guys time to grow. Come on, grow, lads. And this is what I mean about, like, they don't really care. Uh, the only reason that sometimes I'll put, like, separations between them is because I can't tell where I should be. It's specifically with the larger things, like the uh, cypress, that I kind of have issues. Because with these, I'd be able to just be like, oh, right there, you know. Okay. But yeah, like I said, I do want to, um, start where the next path is going to go through. That way, once I actively start, you know, working on it, I'll be able to see a little easier. And yes, eventually this will interfere with our, um, uh, museum, however, comma... It's going to take it a long time to do that, and it, whenever that eventually happens, what I'm going to do is I'm going to start another barren planet tree farm. Because I'm obsessed. Like, I just really like having all the trees that I find interested uh, collected like that. And like I said, eventually I will pare down on the lush trees. I'll probably only grab the ones that I think are really pretty to replant. Alright, come on, please, oh please, be a decently sized mountain. Or just be made up of mostly dirt. Okay, that's fine. That's not that bad. That is not terrible. Alright, lovely. Ah! Okay, good, good, good. 
And the only problem here is I have to make sure to pay attention so I don't accidentally um, tear it down. And yes, trees do need to have no blocks behind them as well. Uh, they will not grow if there are blocks behind them. I haven't done too many experiments, I just know that it will interfere. But hey, such is life, huh? Alright, very, very good. But as long as... So, and the other thing. They need no blocks behind them, but they do need normal dirt under them. Uh, so you can't do, like, the dry dirt that's here. Uh, but yeah. There's your... your... Oh, hang on. Uh, uh, tree farming tips, I guess. Alright, lovely. And I don't know if they need to be exposed to light. I don't think they really do, but... Alrighty, lovely. And then we'll plant the dirt down, because we might as well. And one of these days I will also plant, um... How do I phrase it? Uh... I'll go through it, pull up so I can get a bunch of torches settled in here. Okay, let me also grab the dry dirt here. Okay, we're gonna need to fix that. Because I don't want to get down to it and immediately be thwarted by fucking dire stone again. Go away, damn it. I know why it was doing it, I'm just annoyed that it was. And I mean, it's probably going to take ages for us. Like, I will probably start a new file before we actually... And by new file, I mean completely new file. Uh, but I will probably start a new file long before we reach the point of fully encircling this planet with trees. But, we'll see. Because if I recall, this is actually a pretty damn big... Uh, barren planet. I know I've gone around it at least once. Um, I'm just too lazy to re try and remember. Alright, lovely. Uh, for now, I think that's good. Oh, you're gonna be annoying to deal with, aren't you, buddy? Oh, you're gonna be real annoying. Oh, god. That may be one where we have to break out some bombs, potentially. Anyway, we'll go back up and then back down so we can drop off some of the stuff we picked up. Well, actually, I really don't need it. I could probably just crunch it. If we're being honest. The cobblestone's fine. It's the dire stone and the rest that I don't care about. Okay, anyway. Uh, let me go collect rent real fast. Alrighty, lovely. Let me see. Okay, time to collect rent and potentially do quests, but we'll see. Okay, very good. Also, once this eventually is completely filled up, that's when I'm going to start doing it the other way, where I'll um, uh, just go from the top down. But from right for right now, I'll do it like this. Thank you, love. Not that I need those anymore. Well, I mean, I could theoretically use them. I just don't really care that much. Alright, lovely. Howdy. Thank you. God damn it. Closing doors in my face. Hydrate. Okay. Thank you, thank you. Unfortunately, I don't need a tailor. I already have one. I usually try to prioritize tailors if I can, because, again, I want my crew to look cool, but they're the only way you can get them to change their outfits. Um, I wish there was another way, but unfortunately there isn't. I mean, I'm sure there's some mod for it, but uh, I already have way too many mods as is. 
All right, lovely. Where's our friend? Hello. Thank you. Goodbye. Be out. Or in, technically, I guess. Okay. What the fuck? Oh, it's one of the Apex talking. Come on, where are you? There you are. Good lad. Stop closing doors in my face. Howdy. Thank you. Alrighty, very good. Cool, cool, cool. Also, if you're wondering, my favorite ship, other than the Nova Kid ship, which the reason I like the Nova Kid ship is just because it turns into a giant train, and I think that's really fun. Uh, my other favorite ship is the Glitch ship, which basically turns into a castle. I also like the Avian ship a lot. I don't like the Apex ship, and therefore I don't like the Florin ship. Uh, I believe it, yeah. Uh, but the Florin ship is basically just a overgrown Apex ship. Um, it, to the point that if, as a Florin or anyone else, you ex examine the seat on a Florin ship, the Florid specifically will say smells like Apex butt. Um, and that's implying that, you know, it either used to be an Apex ship or is heavily... I'm gonna decline that. I'm actually gonna go up and try and see about that chef real fast. Uh, but, um... But yeah, that's, that's the hint that they are... Yeah. Okay, hey bud. Yes, I can do that. Hey, pal. Cool, lovely. Ah! Yep, that's fine. Okay, very good. I can try. Battle standard, okay. There you go. Okay, cool. That's fine. Alright, lovely. Back down we go. Worth a shot, anyway. Alrighty. Um, and the Hylodal ship is fine, too. Um, I just play Hylodal so, so rarely that I don't really know a lot about it. Uh, the only time I'll really be functionally playing as a high lodal is I do believe that for the Splatoon mod, their ship is just a recolored high lodal ship. Um, but I don't know. I don't know. It's fine. Yes, I see he has a quest. I'm fine with letting him not. Whatever. Uh, I'm fine with losing the quest potentially. Okay, that's fine. What's... That one's not great. I'll have to sell it to one of the merchants. Matter of fact, hey, where'd you go, bud? Hey, Cory, come here. Yes, I need to give you things. This, that, this, that, this, 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 that. And if you're wondering, again, I do have a reason I sell in between it. It's because it doesn't happen very often, but I have rarely had them walk away from me. In the middle of me selling them a bunch of shit. And it's annoying. So, yeah. Alrighty. <laughs> Sorry. And I know that one also had a quest. I just... I don't know. Uh, I'm, I'm gonna go down and try and grab that avian because they are quite pretty. And again, we don't even know if they'll turn into a particular kind of villager I want. Sure. Okay, give me a second. And once again, this is why we have the facility set up here. So that's the other thing I'm going to do after I collect the rent here. I'm going to go try and upgrade my stuff on the ship to its fullest capacity. Alright. Three woven fiber. I can do that. 
or woven fabric, whatever the hell it says. All right, lovely. And again, if you actually want to know what I personally consider myself to be as far as starbound species, it's the um, the the glitch. Very quickly followed by the avian. All righty. Yeah, yeah, sure. Is that guy like almost all the way at the top? Like wherever he is here, I think he's in. Yeah, he's he's up here. All right, where is he? Hey, buddy. Thank you. I'm probably gonna have to go back and forth a couple of times with those two. Probably, probably, which sucks, but whatever. It's fine. No, 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 no. Not that one. All right, lovely. Here you go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hang on. Give me a second. Okay. Let's go, let's go. Alrighty. Because I think his house is up here. That's part of why he spawns up here. Hey, bud. Okay, cool, cool. Thank you. Very good. I'm surprised he didn't close the door behind him. Like I said, they almost exclusively do. It's really rare for them to not do that. Okay, lovely. There you go. You look cute with that. I like that they're like, now nobody will mess with me when, in my opinion, it looks significantly less intimidating than it did before. <laughs> okay, let's also open our reward bag. Uh, not great, but hey, it's fine. I can always sell it. Oh, here we go. Lovely, beautiful. Where's our friend? They wear red, right? Where are they? There they are, Marissa. Thank you, my dear. Alright, this is... I think he had Lord somewhere in his name. I remember it was kind of an interesting name. I, or, like, Sing Lord or something like that. Yeah, Sing Lord. Alright, thank you, my dear. And what do you want? No, sorry. Okay, lovely. I already have a Grimkin on my ship in this particular file alone, so I don't really need another one, especially one that I'm not as fond of. Alright, lovely. Like, if it was one that I thought was really pretty, I would potentially switch out by, you know? Oh, both of those have quests. That's... yeah, sure. Specifically the Aviad. Hey, buddy. No, no, no. No, goddammit, I'm not gonna threaten your fucking neighbors for you. That's rude. Alright. We'll see if I can get here in time. Yeah, I could do that. I could certainly do that. Alright. I think this counts towards that. Okay, let's see. Beep. It does not. Okay. Well, give me a second. Because sometimes the frogs furnishings don't count towards that. And again, you can just make a new one. I just personally choose not to. Alright, lovely. Ooh, yellow. Nice. Alright, let's see. Where did they go? And do they want to be my friend? Okay, they're there, and they do not want to be my friend. Sad days. But it's fine. It is fine. We can also sell stuff to Shinobu here. Oh, hang on. Before I do that, let me... Uh, open that reward bag. Not you. Oh, high little glasses. Okay, cool. Okay. Sell you that, that... Uh, and these. Lovely, okay, alright. Very good. Very, very good. Thank you. 
Alrighty, let's see what we got. Hey, bud. Thank you. Alright, and thank you as well. Alright, what do we got here? Thank you. Thank you. And eventually, once you basically have nothing else to get with the Super Sea Snails, you can always just um, start selling them, honestly. Because I actually didn't know what they were used for at first, but uh, now that I do, obviously, I, you know. Alright, lovely. I can't believe how many tailors we've spawned. Like, that's kind of crazy. Oops, I did not mean to explode them. Whoopsie, whoopsie. Not you. This one. Howdy. Alright. Lovely, lovely. And now that I have a good chunk of pixels, I may just show you where... how you can get the colony deeds. Uh, might as well. Alrighty. She has another quest for us already? Really? Oh well. Alright. Lovely. Howdy. Thank you. Alrighty. But it should be fine. I'm gonna go down to Shinobu and sell some stuff real fast. So that we're cleared out before we head off. Where are they? Shinobu. There you are. Alright. Let's sell you some stuff. That, this, that, that. Cool. Alright. Alrighty. Lovely. So let's head up to the ship. I need to see what I need for upgrading all my stuff that I have. To its... Sort of fullest capabilities. And maybe I already have them all the way upgraded. That would... The only way we upgrade this is by adding new things on top of it. But we'll need to wait for that. You're already fully upgraded. You. What do you need? Titanium, silver, copper. Six each. I can do that. Okay. Titanium. There's that titanium, but do I have any smelted? I don't think I do. Silver. Do I have any silver smelted? Uh, does not look like it. And copper. Where's all my copper? Okay, whatever. It doesn't matter that much. I'll reorganize in a second, but I need six each. One. I need six. Lovely. As well as this. And titanium. Alright, lovely. Excuse you, please move. That's not what I wanted. Alright, lovely. And you don't need to upgrade anymore. I think you're fully upgraded, yes. You're fully upgraded. Do you upgrade at all? No, okay. Cool, cool beans. Okay, so let me go ahead and organize the ores in here. Okay, so then. Titanium... Oh, I also need to move this. Okay, that's fine. That can stay there. I am going to move that even though it's part of that. Do I have any Dura Steel just kicking around? I don't think I do. Okay, so then Tungsten is fine where it is. Uh, go ahead and put... Not the iron, the diamonds. We'll put the diamonds there. The iron could go here... Gold could go there. I think that's all I have on me in regards to that. Be scoot these over here. I need to go sell that. I can put auto whatever is down here. Yeah, we can put those down there. Alrighty. Don't I need to, like, gather? Uh... I might actually be able to do that. All 
Okay. So 50 titanium, gold, and silver. I'll see if I can make that. Gold. Silver. The gold and silver should be fine. It's the titanium I'm worried about. God damn it. 50. 50. And please let me smell 50. Nope. Damn it. Well, that's not what I wanted. Um, I think we're over a titanium bearing planet right now. Let me double check. Oh, hello. No, 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 no. Yes, this is this bears titanium. Okay. Okay, let's go down and look for titanium. Just to be safe. Okay. There we go. Okay. Let's see. Titanium for Logan, please. Oh, hello. They can also, like, spit electricity at you, so just be conscientious of that. Oh, hang on, no, I saw some, no. I don't know. No, what do we have here? Okay, it's not what I thought it was, set face. I thought we found a gnome village, because I'm a little surprised we haven't found one yet already. There is some up there, but I don't necessarily want to dig up to get it. Especially with all the gravel and stuff. <laughs> Let's see. We also have two fossil brushes left that we could use. Oh, hello. Oh, hang on. Let's see. <laughs> Sorry about that. Alright, let's see. Do that. Oh, hang on, we got a fossil. Okay, let me see. Like I said, I definitely have two fossil brushes. Okay. Okay, we found it there. They will need to use this. One of these days I may show you what happens if you screw up any of that, but should be fine. Oh, I already have that. Damn it. It's fine. It's fine. Yep, oh, hang on, we got another. I could always make more uh, fossil brushes. I'm just lazy. Oh, a light augment. Okay. Not that I need any more, but I'll take it. I'm almost certain I still have that. I will keep the light augments. What I may do is I may take them down to the colony just so I can have them in case of like situations where it's like, come on, you know. Oh, hey there, buddy. And bats. Hey, buddy. I do see that down there. Hang on. Alright, lovely. I got it. That was a very lucky guess on my part that that was there. Sure. Sure. Uh, let me check down here real fast. Okay, if there is anything important in there, it's not enough for me to give a damn. Alrighty, let's see. Might as well grab more copper while we're here. Alright, lovely. 
like we may have a bone biome over here. Yes, indeed. Hey, bud. Come here. Owie. Also, when things are in the back wall, even if they are things that would fall normally, it won't if it's in the back wall. Just because, obviously. Alrighty, I am going to need to replenish some of my other ore. Ah! Yeah, well, if it's in the background, it won't do that. Because, obviously, that would be a little ridiculous. Alright, let's see. What's hiding in here? That's not really what I wanted, but I'll do it. Well, that's also not what I wanted. Definitely take the bandages, though. We are getting to the point where bandages are starting to get outclassed, so... Oh, hey there, bud. Same thing with the first aid kits. The first aid kits really aren't that great in the first place anyway. At least for me. For seeing the hilt of my swords. Uh, but that, however, is titanium. Okay, let's see. What do we got? I didn't mean to... Sorry, little dude. And you can catch them, you just need a specific item to do it. I might make one, because I like catching them. Alright, lovely. We'll probably do stim packs, because I can buy those pretty regularly. Oh, I see you. Alright, lovely. Any others over here, perchance? Alright, lovely. Through we go. Oh, hey, Salamander. I don't know what these things' names actually are. All I know is they spit fire. So that's why I call them Salamander. And they also just look like a Salamander, so, you know, there's that too. Ow! That was me not paying attention. We also grab some gold, since, like I said, I'm going to be using a lot of it. Uh just ground. Normal ground. Oh, I'll also show you what happens when you hit these with a non-fossil brush. Or maybe I'm wrong. Maybe you have to dig into them for it to get destroyed. I don't remember. Whatever. It doesn't matter. Hey, little guy. Both of you. That's another creature I really wish I could, like, tame in a way that wasn't, like, Pokemon battling because, like, I really don't like dealing with the capture pod system. And it doesn't help that that one already kind of looks like Gengar. Or Haunter, whichever one. Oh, there we go. There's some good titanium. Alright, lovely. Because generally speaking, you can oftentimes just get away with taking whatever small amounts and not worrying about grabbing a bunch uh like actively grabbing ore is not inherently necessary oh i don't want that anyway so oh hang on i see you come here all right lovely what do we got here an SCP. I'm not going to take it because I guarantee I already have that. And I don't want to take up another slot in whatever. Now, mind you, there's, t there's tons of st space in the SCP facility. I haven't even shown you all of it yet. Um, but uh, I just, I don't know. Why bother if I don't have to, you know? Hey, little dudes, unfortunately those guys are mean, sadly. Alright. Hey, buddy. These guys spit poison, by the way. Ah, no. Nope. <laughs> Sorry. Alright, let's see. Oh, hello. Is that guy kind of come after me? I can't tell if he saw me or not. Uh, 
All right, lovely. I don't think he saw me. Very good. Very, very good. That pillow. Ow. Hey, now. I do want that. We should be getting close to the core, because a lot of times... Yeah, I can see the glowing. A lot of times you get those uh, root structures near the core. Uh, oh, sorry, I was hitting the wiring. By mistake. My bad. Oh, hello. Yeah, you can see the texture change. And you can see the glowing ore. Uh, I'll just take one to use it. Might as well. Sure. Don't care. Sure. Don't care. Okay. Alrighty, let's see. Any extra over here, perchance? I think this is where we were before, so we're just gonna go back this way. We're just gonna go back this way. Ah! Hey, boy. Yeah, sorry, I'm just nervous of lava. Um... I might head up. I can see that tungsten. Or, uh. Titanium. There's tungsten here and here, though. Let's go for this. This one seems much more doable. At least it's not like Minecraft where cactus will destroy your items. Alright, lovely. Or can destroy it, let me rephrase. Alright. And we'll grab what's in the back wall here and then we'll be done. Because we should have more than enough at this point, hopefully. Fingers crossed. Okay. Oh, but there's a chest. And I don't very often go after them, so... In terms of down here, anyway. Alright, fine, fine. We'll go for it. And it was a good chest, alright. Also... Uh, well, I guess there's something in there that's preventing that from, you know. Okay, lovely. Now we can go. Hopefully we have enough. Okay. Let me stretch. Oh, gosh. Alright, lovely. Let's go make our titanium. We needed 50. Okay, yes, we have enough. Okay, now we need to go find... Uh... Oh? Okay. Let me look up transponder vendor. Not that, thank you. Okay, yes, tell me where to find. Da -da -da -da. So we need to just look for a thing. Ugh, I'm sorry, man. Okay, so I think we just need to look for a space station. Not that. We may come back here in a second. I forget if it tells you where space stations are. Or if it's just like a random chance. I think it might just be a random chance, honestly. Okay, nothing there. But I could have sworn that it did tell you. Okay. Not 
out there. Well, definitely not there because I haven't explored those. I think I started somewhere over here. Ah. Okay, we're going there. And while we're going there, let me uh, fuel this and then put those in there. So now we will start to put that to the test of whether or not that actually... Okay. We should be square. Oakley doakley. And I should have a thousand pixels, so... Alright, lovely. Off we go. I don't even know what I'm doing with this. Yeah, for some reason, these ones are always to the left, I've noticed. I don't know why. They just are. Alright, lovely. Lovely, beautiful. Where's the vendor? Usually they're in the lower areas, if I recall correctly. Ah, there you are. I think this is the exact one, as a matter of fact. Come on now. Use it on your ship to deploy a st space station in your local star system. Oh, I understand. I think I can just continue to place them as I see fit. I'm actually... Uh... Let me see. Well, I don't know where that was, but I'm deleting it. No, 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 no. I need to put in coordinates. Wait, 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 wait. Before I do that, let me go back to the Frozen Star I was on. Yeah, I think I've only ever viewed one. So, this is what we're going to do. We're going to do like we did before. Okay. Okay. Cool, cool. And then... We will do like so. Let me make sure that it is bookmarked in here. Yes, it is. Okay. Negative. Also, these coordinates work for, like, anyone who plays because it's technically not a finite system, to my knowledge. Um, so, if you want to have one of the planets that I use. If you see its coordinates pop up, just use it. It won't give you, obviously, it as I build on it, but, like, it'll give you the planet base. Alright, lovely. That's what I believe. Yes. I need the barren planet. Which I believe is this one. Yes. Alright, let's go. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, alright. Let me place this while I'm thinking about it. Okay. Oh, well, I actually don't even know why I did it here. Okay, so then, let me get out. Okay. Cool. Uh, uh actually, no. Da, 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 da. Uh, 
Okay. Showing my age there, it's fine. Okay, I see, I understand. Kind of. Uh. How. Oh, I see. Cool. Interesting. I'm never gonna do this again. Uh huh. Cool. Okay, so now then. Uh, this is the Steven Universe mod, amongst others. But what I'm doing right now, I don't think is a mod. I'm just doing base game stuff. Alright, anyway. Let's see. What kind of station did it deploy? Slash do I have to build on it? Alright. Oh, well, this one's over here, thankfully. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Easy, easy. Alright, there we go. Lovely. Okay. Interested. Huh. Uh... Okay. Cool. So we have that bookmarked. Okay. Oh, I see. I see. I understand. I will definitely not be doing any of this. <laughs> anyway, let's go back to the ship. It's cool to have it. It's just, you know... I don't really care that much. Okay, so let's drop off also our ore that we picked up during that whole debacle. Or not debacle. It's not a debacle. But let's drop that off. Lovely. Okay. All right. Uh, let me also dump off the clothing I got during that. Because I know I got a fair bit of clothing. I also don't need those fossils because I definitely already have them. Um, so I'll ignore those. I'll leave. I'll keep. I'll go take the light augment over to Lamplight. Um. Because I can, I don't know. Why am I just jumping midair and not doing anything? I mean, I'm doing it. I'm just trying to figure out what the hell I'm doing. Okay. Let's go ahead and just stash these in here. We might as well. No reason not to. But yeah, I put that in there just in case we so happen to have like an emergency situation with a future character and we need those. Okay, that's fine. All right, let's go back to the ship and then head back to where we were before. Okay, let's go, loves. Okay. Lovely, beautiful. Okay. Move that bookmark away. Okay, let's go. Yep, that's fine. Let me also double check. Not you. Okay, it is fuel, but it only works in singular amounts, so... Not... Great. Er, well, I actually don't know how much it makes, but... I don't care that much. So we can use that from the Splatoon mod as fuel, so that's good to know. Okay, anyway, time to go down to our first Midnight Planet. This is going to fucking suck. We're also going to see some of the Fallout mod in more detail. That's an inch. Oh, no. Well, actually, it's not that interesting. I'm just... Hello? Place the torch. Thank you. All right. Lovely. Yeah, Midnight Planets are um, a little scary. Yeah, I think that's just a normal... Ah! A normal tree, and I'm just like... Whatever. Also, just in case that turns out to be an explosive thing, I'm not going to bother it. Oh, hello. You're nice. Good. Are you nice? I hope you're nice. Hang on. Well, dude, surely you could take care of one of those things. Let's close that door. Alright. 
Let's scan everything here. Uh, I'm not going to read that. Yes, I am, actually. Let me jump up here so I have some safety a little bit. Okay. Compared to the many common races that roam the galaxy, Inklings have an excessively bizarre physical structure, possessing no bones besides a powerful jaw. Uh, their flexible bodies allow them to change shape between a humanoid disguise and, is, and a more squid-like appearance that's highly mobile. In, case of, in, a ca in a case of convergent evolution, which... So, convergent evolution. If you ever want to look up a really interesting phenomenon with convergent evolution, look up carcinogen... It's basically how everything turns into a crab. Not physically turns into one, but eventually they will evolve, especially oceanic going things, will evolve a very similar structure because the shape of a crab is just ideal. Um, but it's how certain things can evolve to look extremely similar, even though they're completely unrelated. Uh, they possess skin tones and facial features vaguely similar to those of humans and apex and tend to stand anywhere from five to seven feet high, depending on their lineage. As a result of their extremely flexible and fluid bodies, Inklings are quite adept at navigating many environments. They can easily change their shape and wiggle through small gaps or quickly swim through trails of their own ink, making it quite easy to hide from enemies or to plan an ambush. Their lack of bones means they experience slightly less harm from falls than other races, but that also means their vital organs are protected by a rib cage. Interesting. Uh, so that's probably their species bonus. Being an aquatic species by nature, Inklings are extremely sensitive to water quality. They can tolerate clean water, both saline and otherwise, but dirty, polluted, or chemically treated water can swiftly poison or suffocate them. I wonder if that actually is the case in this. Lava, of course, is just as dangerous to Inklings as it is to almost anyone else. Most Inklings live to re be roughly 80 or 90 years old, but with the correct diet and health regimen, they can live for more than a century. Their shape-shifting abilities, however, don't develop until roughly age 14, and young Inklings tend to have quite a primitive appearance, not quite squid, but not quite humanoid. Baby Inklings, or hatchlings, are quite similar to your standard squid, just more colorful. Inklings are obligate carnivores by nature. Having a scissor-like beak, obligate carnivores means they have to eat meat. Um, other examples of obligate carnivores are um, cats, like felines in general. Uh, dogs are not technically obligate, but they do require some level of meat to, to survive. Uh, they're a tiny bit more omnivorous than cats, but cats are obligate carnivores. Their diets are extremely fish and shellfish heavy, but they also seem keen on preparing various poultry that survive the floods on their planets. They also enjoy fruits and vegetables, using them as garnish and side dishes, or even just eating a particularly sweet piece as is. Their enjoyment-focused lifestyle seems to reflect even in their dietary choices. Many Inklings possess a colorful markings on their body that are lit up with their current ink color. Even just their tentacles tend to have distinct spots, speckles, stripes, and fades of other colors that can be changed on demand. As communi they communicate heavily through visual mediums, these shifts and mixes of colors are necessary for identifying allies, their state of health, and their current mood. Because of this, it's also not uncommon for Inklings to miss the social cues of other species. As a rule of thumb, Inklings have a very strong social communities with a strong fo focus on relationships and personal identity. They strike a key balance between social ties and individual expressions, typically living in close-knit family or friend groups of about three to six individuals. Often they'll have similar ink color to so show association. This active formation of cliques and close bonds makes for safety, socialization, and success, although it can lead to fierce competition with other groups. Yeah. Alright, anyway, what do you want, buddy? Uh, not right now. I mean, it wouldn't be that bad, but I just really don't want to do it. Uh, no. I'm not really interested in grabbing that. I know I sometimes grab their stuff, but... Oh, yeah. Well, and obviously, Inklings are from Splatoon, so, like, some of this is just straight up from the Splatoon lore. Alright, I'll definitely take that. Thank you. That's a really cute chair. Alright, lovely. I haven't scanned either of those. Come on up, we go. Alright, lovely. Oh yeah, it's, uh... Yeah, there's actually... Platoon is actually extremely lore-heavy. I already have one of these somewhere. Um, and a lot of their lore is really, really interesting. Um, I'm just not a competitive person, so I don't enjoy playing it. No, dude, I'm sorry. Alrighty. Especially, like, not where the only aspect of it is the competitive aspect. Like, I know there is some higher level of 
like single mode gameplay, but I don't you know. I, I don't think it's worth we're able to justify like spending the money on the game to just not even be able to experience the entire game. Ow, that really hurt. Oh yeah, and like I, I from what I understand, like it's a very enjoyable game. I'm just I don't know, man. Like I, I even though I adore Overwatch, I was barely able to tolerate playing that because again, I care more about the story and like it's why I'm more into things like Heroes of the Storm where I can use AI everything, right? AI. Uh, like NPC everything because that way I don't have to like fuss with potentially dealing with other people that may or may not understand that I'm just playing to have a good time. I'm just very much not a competitive person. Alrighty. In certain things. Other things I am. Things like trivia, like stuff like that but again i also one of those people i'm like if i lose i really don't give a shit i'm just glad that i had a good time with people which is probably why i dislike competitive games so much because it get, turns into this like we have to win thing and i'm like i just want to have fucking fun dude anyway it's fine oh we got two of these guys hey guys get on out All right, lovely. And I understand that, that that mindset can be really infuriating to people who are competitive game players, so I also don't want to harsh their vibe by just being so, like, chill about stuff. So that's why I tend to be really standoffish about playing hyper-competitive games. It's also kind of one of the reasons that I really like um, Helldivers 2, because I can just solo dive, even though it's not that wise of an idea, I can do it, and it's not that big a deal. Anyway, it's fine. Let's see. Also, because Helldivers 2 is not PvP, it never will be, um, it focuses much more on community and building that camaraderie, rather than, you know, obnoxious, sucking hoorah we have to win over you know the other people rather than just be like i just want to have a good time dude ah we got our first thing of age salt i kind of forgot we were on a midnight planet for a hot second there this looks like it's going into barren yes it is which is honestly good on this planet because it means there's no enemies i mean they're boring but at least there's no enemies but yeah i will need to dig down and start looking for age assault and uh Violium and Ferrosium. Because those are our next upgrades. Uh, not Solarium Stars, though. Not yet. That's uh, Volcanic Stars. Fiery Stars, whatever you want to call them. Alright. Lovely, beautiful. Very good. Hell, I might even come back down here to dig down so that I have at least a little buffer between me and potential enemies. Alrighty, lovely. Especially until I can get some armor. I'm going to need to remind myself which particular armor I prefer. I think it's the Age Assault because that's the one that's uh, heavily melee focused. But, eh, whatever. It's fine. It's fine. Hello, you're mean, sadly. Very cute, but very mean. Are you nice? Yes, good. Apex, Apex, hello. Ah, shit. <laughs> Fuck. Thank you. That's an SCP, hello. Alright, lovely. Okay, get ready to scan. Uh, I don't really need the tech chip anymore. I already have plenty. Yep, it, no, that's just one of the random things she could say. I hear that thing. Wherever it is. Thank you so much for the follow, mate. I really appreciate it. Thank you, Toho. Alrighty, lovely. Pop down here so we're out of the way. And again, I won't dig through to get the chests that tend to hide out in these areas, because I don't care. 
and I don't want to, like, piss him off. Okay, that's already been scanned. I guess I'll take that, because it does stack. If it doesn't stack, I won't ever take them, but I'll take them if they stack. Hello, Haraki. By Haraki Karal, high low to adventurer. The Mininogs certainly do treat the other Apex badly. So sad. So sad. Uh, everyone is under constant surveillance and scrutiny. It's tedious and stressful. Really, you can't blame me for ditching my escort, can you? Uh, I happen to find myself in what I think must be a resistance headquarters. So rebellious. I recognize some of the faces from wanted posters. The Apex stared at me as if I was some sort of intruder or something. One of them was shivering and looked cold, so I loaned her my big A branded jacket. So kind. Dude, you literally... Oh my god, are you serious, Haraki? Oh, Haraki. Bless, bless him, bless his heart. Yep, scan that. I don't care. Let's see. Uh, nope, you don't have guided missile, which means I don't like you, and I never like hammers because they change how all these worked, which really pissed me off. Again, I'm not going to go in to get that because it'll require me digging out the wall and then they get all mad at me, blah, 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 blah. Uh, uh, have I had that before? Yes. Now, it used to be the first copy of whatever codex you picked up would get destroyed when you read it. Um, and to a certain degree, I kind of... I don't miss it. Like, I think it was a good change, but at the same time, like... I don't know. Oh, hello. Hey, buddy. Ow. Please die. Thank you. I, I said heal, please. Thank you. Eh, nothing in there. Okay, I'm amazed I didn't hit that barbed wire. I definitely should have. I'm not going to question it being nice, but I very much should have hit that barbed wire. What do we got? I already know it. Never mind. I'll take the Psycho to sell. Okay, nothing new in here. Yeah, unfortunately, these bases tend to get very... Ah, motherfucker, move. Very same after a while, so I probably won't find much here that I need. I already have enough upgrade modules, so I'm gonna leave that alone. I shall take that, though. On the rare, infinitesimally rare chance I just happened to come across this planet again in one of my other files. It is exceedingly rare that you will do well. Oh, hello. Bring that. I should probably go drop off my SCPs, because I've got quite a bit of them. Uh, yeah. Nothing in there. Any big value. Also, for those of you who play Sky Children of the Light, the, uh, how do I phrase it? The one night redoing of the Aurora concert, uh, is tomorrow, so... If you missed it, that's your chance to do it. Because before, what they were doing was they would occasionally do it when they were trying to beat a record. Um, but this one's because it's the fifth anniversary of the... Um, the game. And there's, like, plenty of celebrations going on otherwise, so I highly recommend playing in general. Uh, also, it's one of those, like, free-to-play games, so... And for what it is, it is one of those free-to-play games. I'm like, how is this free? Why? There, There's enough content here that this should at least be, like, 15 bucks, you know? Uh, but they make up for it with, like, you know, skins and stuff. Outfit pieces. Not really skins. Anyway, it's fine. And it's... I think you can play it on phones, tablets, and I know you can play it on the Switch, and I... I think it just came to PC? I'm pretty sure. Uh, but anyway, it's fine. Uh, I shall take that. And I shall take those. Getting fairly close to our fighter matter manipulator upgrade. I shall take that. These. 
Definitely take the nano wrap bandages. Definitely already have that. Okay. I was gonna say, surely you're one of them. We're actually getting fairly lucky on the Apex stuff today. Okay. Last little bits. Because they are mirrored on both sides, so... And it looks like we also found a glow bio, which is cool. Alright, lovely. Away we go. Into the glow biome with us. But yeah, we'll have to go mining because we need ore. Because the Ferosiums and Aegisalts are the, the ones that are a little bit... I definitely should not have made that jump, but I, I won't question it being nice. Um are ones that you will have to actively go looking for. You are highly unlikely to just kind of find them laying around like the others. Like, rarely they'll spawn on the surface, but that is very rare. Alright, anyway. Oh, back to the midnight zone. Alrighty. Hello, we found some mead birds. And that fucking thing. Oh, and I see a rad roach from the fallout mod hey buddy i'm gonna need you to fuck off ow damn it that's my fault i don't think we'll get death claws on these planets i think those only start to spawn on fiery stars but the two things you will get from the fallout mod are uh death claws and rad roaches amongst the other like small like cool th oh right rad scorpions oh fuck 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 that's not great Hey guys, hey you, ow. Okay. Ah, shit. Okay, they seem to be stuck, so I'm gonna... Are both of them gone? Okay, yes, and they will give you caps and you can sell those for cash. Pixels, whatever. Alright, lovely, yeah, I kinda forgot those existed. Clearly. Oh, these things. These are from the, like, Midnight folks. So that guy in my settlement who's, like, all mysterious and whatever. That belongs to these. Sometimes they will have chests. Not always, but sometimes. Oh, I see you there. I was kind of wondering if you were going to show up, because sometimes they do around these zones. Okay. Oh, this has uh, electric secondary, so that's nice. Alright, lovely. Hey there, buddy. Hang on. Hey, buddy, come back. There we are. Lovely. But yeah, that's why I like Guided Rocket, because I can kind of just stand up on areas and, like, aim the secondary around, even if they're not perfectly in line with me. And especially on planets like this, it's really helpful. Aha! There's one of the things I always look for. Hello, mean bird. Owie. Owie. And there's one of those. Hey, motherfucker. Ow. Is he dead? I don't, I don't know. I think he is, thankfully. Okay, anyway. Let's take... Well, we'll scan it first. Well, we already have, apparently. Take that, because I like to have those on my ship. Oh, I hear a Deathclaw. Never mind. I think it's underground, though. I thought those only showed up on Fiery Stars. I will... Without... Ah, shit! Without any question, I will run for the Deathclaws. All right. So, I need to pick a spot to dig down. Uh, so that I can go get good stuff. Hello, evil bird. I haven't seen the dice bird yet, sadly. Just the bead one. Alright, lovely. Let's go here. Oh, hello. Critters. Alright, let's heal, because obviously... Alright, time to go looking for... Death. Oh, hello. Well, there we go. There's some right there. 
So the purple is Biolium, the green is Age Assault, and the blue is Ferozium. Hi there. Hey there, Pally. I was gonna say, I think there's something else there, because I heard it hop. Ow. Alright, lovely. We're gonna need to start either making tons more bandages or just moving on to the stim packs. Alright, lovely. Hey there, buddy. And that's not the kind of blue I mean when I say Ferozium is blue. That's not what I wanted. Because uh, it will clearly look like other ore. It's just, you know... Oh, hello, Biolium. And I do recommend making enough to make all of the upgrade stations for the uh, workbench, the armor bench, whatever the hell you want to call it. Um, that way you can, you know. Alright, I see some Ferozium, I think. Yes. And I don't have another brush right now, otherwise I would go after that. And I see some Biolium here. Alright, lovely. Oof, more Ferozium. Like I said, I'm pretty sure what I'm after is the Age Assault. Some Dura Steel. I heard something hot, but I don't know if it's something that can come up and get me. Got some Biolium. All right, lovely. Okay, let's see. All righty. You, you were hopped. Oh, well, bye. I guess. Very bit of fossils on this plate, I'm kind of interested. Hey, little dude. Ow. Hoping I can get away without getting tagged, but eh, such is life. Age of Soul, that's the one I'm much more after. Because, like I said, I'm fairly certain Age Assault is the one that deals with... Uh, no Village! Finally! Okay, so, there are going to be guards here. Oh, wow. I haven't ever seen the big one. Uh, but, you will be able to hit these houses. There are, like, robots guarding everything. But... Um, if you hit the houses, they will drop lots of things. Lots of different things. Um. Okay, let's see. Grab these. Alright, so we got pixels. There's specific things. You there it is, ball of gnomes. You can also get hats doing this. So, let me show you how ball, ball of gnomes works. You hold it in your hand. You throw. It's a weapon. Uh, that went further than I thought it would. Alright, lovely. But yeah, there are special hats that you can get from these. In addition to, like, other things. Uh, I haven't gotten any of the hats yet, I don't think. Okay. Well, I guess I'll take that. Okay. Grab those. See if I can reach this from over here. I'm a little surprised we haven't seen the guards yet. They're robots. I see some Age Assault up there. Okay, lovely. It's actually quite a sizable gnome village, actually. Alright, lovely. It doesn't really matter that much, though. Alright, lovely. Okay, cool, cool. Got some Biolium here and some gold to replace what we used for that space station. Okay, lovely. Might as well grab some more. Might as well. I'm very surprised we haven't seen the, uh, guard robot yet. Alright. Also, a tiny bit surprised we haven't gotten any of the specialty cosmetics. Usually they drop by now. Alrighty. 
And yes, to my knowledge, you do you can get timber from the trees. Fairly certain about that one. Get a lot of Iolium on this planet. A lot of Iolium. Which is side, it's just not really what I'm after, I don't think. I think, ow, the Violium is the more balanced one. Because one is ranged focus, one is melee focused, and the other is, uh, uh, balance. And I'm pretty, it's, like I said, I'm pretty sure the Age Assault's the one I'm after, because obviously I do a lot of rage, or, uh, melee work. I don't like ranged. <laughs> I'm a terrible shot. And I'd rather just, you know, get up close and personal, even if it's annoying. Alright, lovely. Surely we have to be... Apparently we still haven't gotten none of them. Weird. Might as well use that while I'm here. I see some Age Assault back there, in addition to the door of steel. Is there Age Assault back there? No. Just a trick of the light. Alright, lovely, but there's Age Assault up here. Hell yeah, there's Age Assault up here. Alright, lovely. Oh, hang on, we got some more here. And we got some Barosium over here. Where are the guards? I definitely am getting really lucky with the spawns on those guys. Nope, not that. That's not what I wanted. I wanted this. Alright, lovely. Like, they're nothing special. They're the robots we've seen before, but, like, it's really weird that I'm not seeing any of them, because usually by this point they would show up. That's not what I wanted. I wanted this. Okay, lovely. And if I recall, the Violiums and Ferosiums and Aegisalts and such, uh, because they're harder to find, I think there's some of the ore that you can just get exactly how much you put into it out of them. Uh, don't quote me on that, but I'm pretty sure that, like, they're a one-to-one -one rather than a two-to-one. Alright, lovely. pretty low here. Oh, hello, you. Get out of here. There we are. Oh, hello. Oh, no, you're not weird at all. That's perfectly normal. I just don't do it because I'm lazy. Alright, grab that. Thank you. Uh, are there bad guys over here anywhere for chance? Or not even bad guys. They're just kind of trying... Eh, I'm not gonna bother with it, because I know I sometimes sell them, with, but with everything I might actually... I did, I got a uh, building hat. Ah, get on there. No, right, that's the wrong way. Ta-da! I'll keep it, because I think they're fun. There's also a train, and I forget what the other one is. I know there's at least one other one. Oh, hello. Ow. Oh, God damn it! I was hoping he wouldn't see me. Get out of here, you. Alright, I did see some Ferozium. I don't prioritize Ferozium, though. Ah! I really wish these guys also took fall damage. I understand why they don't. I hear a buzzsaw somewhere. Ah! There it is. Hey, buddy, come here. Alright, well, I definitely want the Egg Assault, so... Alright, take that. I don't really care what's up there. Hey, little dude. 
Hey, little dude. Come here. Ow. Hope to get away from that. Okay, he's still gonna crawl back up here pretty easily. Hey, bud, where'd you go? Oh, you fell off. Okay. Alright, lovely. And one of the other reasons that I don't personally fill in the holes in the wall is I know it is so... Unless you intentionally do it, it is so unlikely that you will uh, accidentally run across the same star system again. Uh, that I just don't bother. Hang on. Part of it is being fucking stupid. Alright, lovely. Oh, Jesus. It's not being stupid, the whole computer is being stupid. Alright, lovely. Yeah, sure, I don't care, Java. Alright, lovely. Get us some egg assaults. Because again, if I recall correctly... Egg assault is... The one that I prefer. God damn it, okay, fine. Sorry, it's... My other machine is being stupid right now. Frankly, I should just make it wait until after, but, you know, because we're almost done, but... Alright, lovely. Okay, are you finished being weird, Java? Okay, cool, cool. I think I see some ferrosium over there. Yes, I do. Alright, lovely. Hey, little dude. There you go. Apparently that was one of the ones we encountered earlier. Uh, well, I didn't really want that. I wanted this stuff at the back. Thank you. But I don't care that much about the Dura Steel. I could always get more of it. It's fairly, relatively common. Okay, let's see. I think we're almost at the core. I think I hear the audio change. Potentially, we'll see. Alright, lovely. Where are we? Oh, I see some ferocium in the ceiling. Okay, lovely. I'm not gonna go crazy out of my way for, like, stuff like this. Unless it's, like, egg assault, maybe. Uh, are you gonna be able to get back up here, buddy? I can't tell. What the fuck is that? Well, I'm keeping it because it's funny. Alright, anyway, it's fine. Alright, well, uh, well, we might as well just go down more. Oh, hello. We have accidentally found our way into one of these. Ow. Ow, ow, ow. My bad. My bad. Oh, all that for something that I'm not even gonna use? Are you serious? I think I could just break this, right? Nope, I need to break it like that. That's fine. Okay, cool. Hey, buddy. Get away from my egg assault. It's mine. That was dumb. I walked right into him. Okay, lovely. Ah, get on up there. Logan, use your goddamn brain cell. You have one. Alright, lovely, and I see that in the wall. Alright, uh, let's go back up to the ship, even though we're not down to the bottom of this planet, so we have time to actually make some stuff with that. I gotta go stretch. Oh, God, ow. That hurt. Okay, let's see. What do I need? Alrighty. So it is... Not the separator, that's Violium. Oh, thank you. Give me a sec. Thank you for the hydrate. Alrighty. 
All right, lovely, beautiful. Where is it? Not you. Accelerator? Yes. Okay, no. This is the ranged equipment. I was misremembering. Gotcha, babe. So is it the separator? Yes. What do I need? I need 10 violium, 2 silicon boards, 4 copper wires. So let's make 10 violium. Alright, lovely. Let's see if I have any silicon boards and copper wires kicking. I do not think I do, but I can obviously make them. I or I I know I have copper wire somewhere. There it is. And I think that's enough, but I am gonna bring my copper just in case. And silicon boards, I believe, is sand and coal. Pretty certain. Excuse me, sir, can you move? Alright, lovely. Not that one. This one. Okay, cool. So, the way these work is you take them. They are usually a deco. You take it, and you put it on top of it, like so. Ta-da! Okay, let's see. Okay, so that's obviously the endgame one. Okay, we're after this next. Is that better than what I am wearing currently on my face? Because we just have to find this in a chest. It is exactly this. Oh my god, we are never going to replace that thing. Jesus fucking Christ. Okay, this is also the perfect stuff, which is from the uh, perfectly generic whatevers. Uh, but, okay, so... Uh, okay. We need... 14. Plus synthetic material. And how many canvases? Two canvases, one synthetic material. 14. Uh, who's the one that's... So Da, 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 da. That's not what I want. I want 14 refined by oleum. Alright. I need two canvases. I need to grab my cotton for that. That's not there. It's over here. Do I just so happen to have any synthetic material on me? I don't think I do, sadly. Okay, whatever. It's fine. And if I get desperate enough, I can just always go buy it. Okay, I think it said I needed cotton wool. Okay, I need three. So if I need two canvases, I need six. Lovely. And what do I need for this? Oh, that should be easy. I should have that. Right. Yeah, where's my box chest? There. Uh, no, not you. Here. Just one. All right, lovely. Okay, I don't want that because I basically have the exact same thing. I mean, let me check just to be safe. Okay, no, 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 you stay on there. Yeah, these are not only... Well, the health is better on hers. We'll consider it. Okay. That's fine. Okay, for right now, that's fine. And you know what? Fuck it. I might as well do the other one. Hang on, let me see. What do I need? One canvas, six refined violium. Should be able to do that. Six. And then... Three cotton wool, one canvas. Okay, cool. Get out of there, goddammit. Alright, lovely. Why I'm doing this is because it's gonna, gonna give me more health specifically um, than the other one would have, and I would like that. So, anyway, we need to clean up our inventory because it's a hot mess. Okay, we, I don't think... Do we have any... Here we might have that. Okay, if we did, we don't anymore. Oh, hang on, I also have this. Oh, well, hang on. 
put this up near the front of the ship so that it sounds pretty. I don't know. Right there. Hello? There it goes. Okay, good. It plays the main theme, if you're wondering. Uh, we have at least a couple of codexes to put in here. Uh, da, 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 da. Is that all? I think it is. Uh, let me go put this in the fuel before I forget that it's fuel. Alright, lovely. Uh, let's put away stuff in here. Well, hang on now. Hold on. Hold your horses. Prioritize these. No, not... I'll, I'll fix it in a second. Hang on. Okay. Let's go ahead and fix this. Potentially, you could go up here. Uh, you could go there. I think that's all sorted. I really need to upgrade this to be one that can actually take the, uh, or have the sort button, but eh, I'm lazy. Okay, let's see. Weaponry, I found that. I don't think I found any other unique weapons. Pretty sure I did it. Okay. Then blocks, as well as where's my... There it is. Okay. Let's see if there's anything at all I can put away in here. Good lord, I have a lot of dirt. Okay, very cool. Very cool, very good. Okay, that should be fine. We'll go for our other blocks chest next. Okay, I don't want any seeds. I just want the actual food. Those do not appear to stack. That sucks, but whatever. Uh, I also don't need that. Okay, cool beads, cool beads. Okay. I uh, obviously can't put anything in there. Any deco other than the SCPs that need to go away? No. Alright, outfits. You, as well as you. I think that's the only outfit pieces I have. Yes. I have more blocks in here. Alright, lovely. Beep, beep, there we go. And we can put that little extra away, as well as that. Okay, very good. And I was going to say, I know we have a music slot now. Okay, that's fine. Let me go take these over to... I'm going to go to Lamplight to sell these, so I can also potentially uh, get some quests. Alright, lovely. Where is Shinobu? There you are. Thank you. Sell you all this. Because I don't need it. Uh, well, I'll, no, I don't really need them. That's fine, I guess. That as well. Okay, cool. Now then, let's go collect red. Oh, hang on. Hey, buddy, you have a quest. What is it? Sure, I can manage that. Where's your buddy? Amethyst also has a quest. Oh, sorry, buddy. Okay, cool, cool, cool. Because I actually thought it was the same person for a second, so that was my bad, not theirs. Hey, Amethyst, actually, come here. Hang on, Amethyst. Okay, I can manage that. Okay, cool, cool, cool. Where's... Where's our friend with the quest? There you are. Yeah, I can manage that. Hang on, I need to track this one. And then we'll do Amethyst's quest. Oh, wrong aisle. Again, I really should, like, put numbers in the... Uh... The... Farewell, but... I don't know. Okay, so he's probably going to ask me to put that down. I don't know if I have space in his area, but we'll see. Uh, I might, actually, now that I'm looking at it. I might have space for a couch. Oh, never mind, it's for that person. Okay, this one on the end here, I'm assuming. God damn it, stop closing doors in my face. 
It's annoying. Okay, let's see. Oh wait, they they. Okay. Oh, I see. I understand. Hey, ah, no, come back. Yes. Wow, this is very elaborate. I know exactly where they live. They live down here. So, hey, bud. Yep. And thankfully, I should have plenty of room for that. Okay, lovely. All right, now what did Amethyst want? She wanted me to glitch furniture, which I think I have one here is where the chef is. Oh, one aisle up. Whoopsie, whoopsie. It's fine. And obviously we're not going to collect all the rent today because I'm getting distracted by quests. But hey, quests is how, well, one of the ways you can uh, get... Uh, tenants. Okay, let's get his rent and then resub it, resub it. Lovely. Okay. Oh, it's up to King. Probably because of the banner. And I don't know if the gems can be tenants. Try to find where the hell she is. I mean, I know where she lives, I just don't know. No. Alright, she's somewhere over here, if I remember right. Yeah. Hey, girl. Alright, lovely. Let's also open the reward bags we got. Is that the one that I was after? I think it is, actually. Hold on. Oh, wait. What? Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Sure. Absolutely. I only realized because she was talking. Or not talking, because she said that. And yes, it's just going to summon the exact same character, so. Okay. Cool, 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 cool. I wanted at least one jab on my ship. Um, ideally, I would have liked guard it, but I haven't made her yet. Um, I need to look up how to do that. But give me a second, because I think I just got something that I've been trying to get the tenant of for a while. Yes. These. I guess you're going to have two beds, buddy. Hope that's all right. Ow. All right, lovely. Oh, hang on, never mind. So we have officially finished another floor now. Now, obviously, I'll eventually, like, uh, make them not as, like... Certain ones won't be as numerous or whatever, but for right now, it's fine. Scan these. And then... Beep. So, it's... All of them seem to summon some level of guards, which is kind of interesting. Um, but let's go back up to the ship. And see Amethyst. We should still need a couple more before we get our license. Yeah, it would have popped by now. All right. Okay, you are in the outfit, but you because you're uh, not a particular type of tenant, it doesn't seem to summon any particular type of unique coloration on her outfit, which is sad, but whatever. Alrighty. Anyway. If I can, I'll probably de-summon her if I ever, like... Actually, let me... I think I bookmarked it. Give me one second. Let's see. Okay, let me see. I'm looking for... Garnet. Ice and Foundry. Okay, let me see. I don't know if I have any of that. Uh, let me see. Uh, ba -ba -ba -ba. uh, not yet. We'll be doing that later. Those don't count. 
Okay, I see where it's saying it. That doesn't count. It's because it says found, and that's why. Oh, we do have the foundry console. Okay, cool. And then ice. Okay. Hang on, let's see. Uh. Well. Apparently we haven't scanned enough ice things, but let me see if it's just a matter of I need to grab blocks. Because I should have ice blocks somewhere. Got smooth ice, ice block, ice, snow. Okay, let's see. Uh, where's my furniture table? Ice. Well, that doesn't really help me. Womp womp. Uh, I guess we will be doing a field trip. Well, actually, let me... Really quick, let me look at this real fast. Okay. Let me see about doing... Snow, maybe? Alright, lovely. Not here, but we can check at the pixel printer. I know we're going a tiny bit over, but give me a second. Let's see, let's see. Snow, or ice. No, snow. That's right. Okay, wait. Does this count? Nope. Sadly. Okay, well, it was worth a shot. Okay. So, I am going to put the foundry away, or I actually may put it in uh, a location real fast. A location. I will put it over here. Where did I put it? Here. Okay, cool. That's fine. Uh, for right now, that'll do. We'll just, on Monday, start looking for more ice-related things. Especially because we're on Frozen Stars, it shouldn't be that bad. Um, but we'll have to see. But until then, uh, let me see if there's anyone live to send you to, potentially. Uh, no one is live, so I'm just going to have you guys scatter. And I will see you guys again on Monday with more Starbound. But until then, bye!